Question number nine, part one from C12, June 2017, IAL. Um, find the exact value of x for which 2 times log to the base 10 of x minus 2 minus log to the base 10 of x plus 5 equals 0. Okay, one point here is they could have written this question without saying the 10 because um, if you have 2 log x minus 2 and there's nothing written in the base, it means log to the base 10. Okay, so it's possible for them to have written that without the 10 there and it means the same thing as this. Okay, when there's nothing written, we assume it's a 10. That's the general um, procedure. So basically here we have to solve this uh, log equation uh, we have to use the laws of logarithms to do, do so and here we're going to be using a couple of them now I want, uh, as they're both of the same base okay I can combine these together um, by the subtraction law but the problem is I've got this 2 in the beginning of it so I'm going to use a power law to change that so 2 log or let me just write the general rule if I have a log um, b oh, that's the same or let's say to the CB that A can be written as a power of B so you, you can write that as log to the base C of B to the power of A okay the A becomes a power so that 2 becomes a power here so before we can combine these we've got to express it in this way so you're going to have X minus 2 and then that's going to be squared minus log to the base 10 of X plus 5 equals 0 as I said we don't really have to write the 10 but I'm going to write it as they did. Now I can combine these two together using the law of logarithms to do with the subtraction, the subtraction law. Let me just make some space on this side. Okay, so um, I know one of the laws of logarithms is log of a b a minus log to the base b of c is going to equal log to the base b of a over c and if it was a plus a times c so the subtraction law okay causes a division here it's kind of the, the reverse of index laws so this is going to be log to the base 10 of x minus 2 squared divided by x plus 5 equals 0 now i can now use a definition of logarithms to complete this okay so now we know that the log to the base a of b equals c can be written in index form as this is the base and this is the power and this is the result so a to log to the base a b equals c means a to the power of c equals b so we can say 10 to the power of 0 is equal to all of this so we can say x minus 2 squared divided by x plus 5 is equal to 10 to the power of 0 and anything to the power of 0 is 1 Okay, so we can now solve this equation. We can say x minus 2 squared is equal to, this is going to be 1 times x plus 5. So we've got x plus 5. We can expand the bracket here. We're going to have x squared minus 4x plus 4 equals x plus 5. We can, this is a quadratic, so we can bring everything to one side and make it equal 0. Use the zero product property. So we're going to have x squared minus 5x and it's going to be 4 minus 5 which is minus 1 equals 0 and the question says find the exact value of so that's given us an idea that we're going to have a third value so we're going to have x okay um, minus sorry x squared minus 5x equals 1 I'm going to complete the square here so I'll have x minus 5 over 2 squared minus the square of 5 over 2 which is 25 over 4 equals 1 add 25 over 4 to both sides so I have x minus 5 over 2 squared is equal to 1 plus so that's 29 over 4 because that's 25 over 4 plus that's right that's 4 over 4 plus 25 over 4 29 over 4 so x minus 5 over 2 is going to be plus or minus uh, tw the square root of 29 over 2 so, okay so we have here x equals 5 we can make it over one fraction over 2 we'll have 5 plus root 29 over 2 or 5 minus root 29 over 2 now many people they leave the answers like this they think they've got the answer 
But you've got to be very careful with logarithms. And there's a very big clue in the question where it says find the exact value of x. So obviously that means there's one solution. Okay, so what we need to do is whenever we have any logarithm question, even if it doesn't give us that clue, we should try to uh, deal with it so that we can work out whether something is valid. Now in logarithms, whatever you input entire inside this place here, inside the log, must always be greater than zero. It can never be zero or less than zero. So if I use a value of 5 plus root 29 over 2 and substitute it into here and here and any of those parts become negative or zero, then it will be undefined. So if I have 5 plus root 29 over 2, okay, that's going to be like 2.5 plus something. So that's going to be bigger than 2. So that's fine. And of course, that's going to be bigger than 2. It looks like this is our solution. Okay, but just to, sh to show you, if I put this into here, let's see what we get out. Let's just see what we get. So we have 5 minus uh, root 29 divided by 2 and then minus 2. Okay, that gives us a negative value. So if I substitute this into here, it's going to be undefined. So this is not going to be one of our solutions. Our solutions, our solution is, and it says exact solution, so they don't want us to round it, is 5 plus root 29 over 2. So there's the answer to part 1 of this question.